Hi, Terry Gillespie here, and welcome to book pre-review, the books I'm excited to read. And I am really excited to read this new book that I found out about through Ravel, and it is called Tacos for Two, and it's by best-selling and award-winning author Betsy St. Amant. And I've got my, I don't know if you can see it here, got my Food Network, and I brought my antique, what is this? This is, I think this is a meat tenderizer, and which you need for tacos, and a antique slotted spoon, which you definitely need for taco meat. So anyway, brought those. So uh, this book is available. It actually won't release until I think, uh, actually Ravel didn't give me a specific date, but it releases in October. And the genre is Christian romance, Christian adult fiction, adult and women's fiction. And thanks so much to NetGalley and Ravel for the advanced reader's copy, because this one looks really good. So they all look good to me. You know, I'm one of those kids that, you know, when you open a present, oh, it's the best thing. And then I go on to the next one. Oh, it's just what I wanted. It was the best thing. So that, yeah, I'm that kind of person. So, but that's okay. I just love them all. I love to read and I love, I love the books that I get to read, especially when I know the authors. So, um, the website is www.betsystamont.com. And of course, it popped up there with my husband. Uh, it's wonderful, masterful post-production. But what's also great is down below in the description section is um, are all the links that are related to this episode, which is really good because we've got some really important links down there. And by the way, on your way down to the description section, you'll see that little red button that says subscribe. If you ha if it says if it's red, then you haven't subscribed. If it's white, it means you already have. And thank you so much for subscribing. But if you could subscribe, and when a little bell shows up, little bell shows up, then be sure and click that, and you won't miss any of the episodes of my other shows because I have the. Uh, weekly book pre-reviews, then I have the monthly book reviews, and then I have the monthly author highlight interviews. And that's where I actually get to interview um, the different authors. And those interviews are so much fun. You learn, you learn some pretty, pretty silly things about the authors. So it's, it's, it's really great. Um, also, in as over in that section that has the subscribe, you'll see a like button. Be sure and click that like button. And then if you go down below where the description section is, there's a place to put a comment. So if you like, comment, and share this video, it's really going to help Betsy get her book out there. And we want people to know about this cute little book. And um, that's a great way for them to know because we want more inspirational and clean fiction out there in this world. Don't we? Yeah, we do. So this is a bio excerpt for Betsy. Betsy is the author of more than 15 inspirational romances, including The Key to Love and a frequent contributor to iBelieve.com, which is um, like a devotional um, deposit, depository, which is pretty cool. She lives in North Louisiana, and our prayers are with you, sweetheart. 
with her husband, two daughters, a collection of Austin novels, and an impressive stash of pickle, pickled flavored Pringles. Really? I love me a good pickle, but honey, the Pringles and pickles, mm -mm. God bless you. As we say in the South, well, bless her little heart. When she's not composing her next novel or trying to, improve, to prove that unicorns are real, I have a couple of other authors who, who are in the same pursuit. Betsy can usually be found somewhere in the vicinity of white chocolate mocha, no whip. Okay, girlfriend. We're on the same page there. Okay, the publisher notes for Tacos for Two. Rory Perez makes her living as a food truck owner and chef. The only catch? She can't cook to save her life. Struggling, <laughs> struggling to juggle a social life, stay caught up on her bills, and keep the family business she inherited from going under, Rory resorts to desperate measures, entering an annual food truck festival with hopes of winning the cash prize. Okay, I love the Food Network's competition food trucks. I love it. Jude Strong is tired of pursuing his family's passion instead of his own. Staring down the barrel at a bleak future with a law, family law firm, his father strikes a deal. If Jude can win the food truck competition with his cooking skills, he can leave to pursue his true passion. If he loses, it's back to the law firm or face being disinherited. Arr! Complications arise when Rory loses her chef, learns to cook under pressure, and realizes her stiffest competition truly is the man she is has been anonymously talking to for weeks via an online dating app. Hmm. St. Amant delivers a sweet romance in Tacos for Two that will have readers laughing, falling in love, and hungering for more in this delicious twist on the classic film, You've Got Mail. Okay, now I've got to go watch it. Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, so, such a great, great movie. You can purchase Tacos for Two at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Book Bub, christianbook.com and your local retailers and bookstores and if we do not see it on the shelf what do we do we ask for it because maybe it's in the back somewhere or maybe they need to order it but they won't know unless you ask for it now, my reviews are posted on applicable venues like Amazon, BookBubs, Goodreads, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, NetGalley, ChristianBook.com. Also, down below in the description section is a link to sign up for my newsletter, and my newsletter people are treated very well. They have first access to... Uh, I just got an email. I got mail! Um... So they're the first to get, get to see the covers of my new books. Uh, I just sent out the first two chapters of my newest release coming out, Sweet Rivalry, and they get to read the first two chapters. So all sorts of fun things like that. I like to treat my newsletter people very, very well. Plus, if you sign up, you also get two free gifts. So one gift is the first chapter of my newest release. And the second gift is a surprise that you get a week later. And a lot of people have uh, emailed back and said that they have used this little gift folded up, stuck in their Bibles, and it's really been helping them and blessing them just as much as it has me over the years. So I hope you, I hope you will do that. Also, um, there's a link to my books, and I sure appreciate you taking a look. 
And if you could also follow, subscribe, and like me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and BookBubs and Goodreads and MeWe. And of course, now I'm on Instagram. I still don't know what I'm doing, but if you see me, say hey. So that's it for this week. Um, I'm so glad you stopped by. I look forward to seeing you next week for another wonderful book. And um, in the meantime, God bless and keep reading.